Let us consider two blocks that are connected by an ideal spring as shown in the diagram and are free to slide on a horizontal frictionless surface. The blocks are pulled apart so that the spring is stretched and then released from rest. Say we want to determine the ratio of the velocity of block 1 to that of block 2, in other words, V1 over V2, as the separation of the blocks decreases. We take as our system the two blocks and the spring. After we have released the blocks, there is no net external force acting on the system. We can therefore apply the principle of conservation of momentum to the system. The initial momentum of the blocks before they were released is zero. Therefore, the final momentum is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2, which is equal to zero. Therefore, m1 v1 is just equal to minus m2 v2, and therefore the ratio of v1 over v2 is equal to minus m2 over m1. The minus sign indicates that the two velocities have opposite directions. Now let us look at the ratio of kinetic energies of the blocks as their separation decreases. K1 over K2 is just equal to a half M1 V1 squared over a half M2 V2 squared, which is equal to M1 over M2 times V1 over V2 all squared which is equal to m1 over m2 minus m2 over m1 all squared, which is just equal to m2 over m1. What can we say about the motion of the centre of mass? Since the resultant external force is equal to zero, it follows that F external is equal to m times the acceleration of the centre of mass, which is equal to zero. And therefore, the acceleration of the centre of mass is zero, and therefore the velocity of the centre of mass is constant. But the initial velocity of the centre of mass is equal to zero, and therefore the centre of mass remains in the same position throughout.